Hey everybody, it's Gina Kern. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend and a great Sunday. Um, I've been working on the uh, arm of this large Celtic cross that I'm doing for my sunflower drawing that's coming up. It's going to be twice as big as every other drawing that I've done before. And I thought that you might like to see a little bit of the behind the scenes, how the sausage is made kind of details. So I've been spending a lot of time, I don't know if you can see, let me see if this camera will focus here. There we go. Spending a lot of time drawing these tiny little dots in here. And if I turn the camera a little bit, maybe it'll help you see. There's this diamond pattern right here. So here's one, two, three, four. See those four little dots in the shape of a diamond? It forms this diamond grid that this maze pattern is drawn on. And with Celtic patterns, you have to really count and, um, and understand kind of the underlying pattern that, uh, that goes into making something as complex and complicated um, as some of these and, and intricate as some of these patterns can be. So with this one that I'm doing at the moment, and it's not done, so just, you know, bear with me, but um, this one has got um, a pattern of two. So we count out two dots here and then four this direction, five, eleven, five, four, two. And then the next one does the same thing. So you have to count down three, and then it's two, two dots, then four dots, five dots, 11 dots, four dots, or I'm sorry, five dots, four dots, two dots. Okay, so that's the basic of the pattern. And inside of these, I'm gonna do a little bit of a swirly that I've kind of sketched out over here on a scrap piece of paper. So let me show you what that's gonna look like. I'm gonna do this one right here. So that little swirly will go inside all of those larger diamonds in the pattern. Um, and then what I've started doing next is drawing these little triangle shapes to kind of finish out the pattern. So you can see over here, I haven't done that yet, but over here we've got that pattern kind of going. So um, if you kind of hop into the maze, it's going to flow around this little zigzag here up this way, and then it's going to go through that little swirly and out this way and up and around and it just kind of weaves and works its way around that pattern so um anyway let's see if that camera will focus again for you there we go so that's what i've been spending lots of time working on the last week or so i'm drawing all of these teeny tiny little dots in a very precise um measured pattern and trying to figure out how to work them around the loops of this celtic knot right here um, and then trying to figure out how to get these corners, what they call mitered up here. Okay, so that one I've got figured out uh, how to make the pattern kind of flow in and around that corner and then and morph into the diamonds kind of flowing this direction. But I've yet to figure this one over here out. So that will be on, on deck for this afternoon um, to try to figure that out. And then I'll start drawing those little swirly patterns inside the diamonds um, that look like this guy here again. Okay, so uh, anyway, just a little bit of behind the scenes for you there, and I'll zoom out again so you can, hopefully, if that camera will focus, come on, baby, there we go. So there you can kind of see that's how large the, um, the cross is going to be, and this one is actually the arm of what I would call the secondary cross. So kind of what I'm loving about this pattern is that there's two crosses happening here. There's this one right here, the vertical one, right? And then there's this one that's kind of cockeyed or in there offset kind of i don't know to me seems a bit like a what maybe a secondary cross um, um secondary to that that main one that goes up and up and down and sideways there so um anyway that one i'm going to do kind of a fun little um what they call a trisco pattern in here so that'll come later um for you to see but uh, anyway there's a little bit of behind the scenes again hope you're having a wonderful sunday and i will be sure to post photos later this afternoon hopefully when i uh finish getting all this intricate patterns drawn out so um anyway have a wonderful sunday and we'll talk to you later bye bye